Imagine a cosmic roller coaster where you ride through time and end up right back at the start. So what exactly are closed time-like curves? In the realm of mathematical physics, a CTC is a peculiar path that a material particle can follow in space-time. The key feature, it's a world line that loops back to its own starting point. The story of CTCs begins with Willem Jacob van Stockham in 1937. He was the first to glimpse the possibility of CTCs when he realized that certain solutions to Einstein's equations of general relativity allowed for these closed loops in space-time. Then, in 1949, the brilliant logician Kurt Gödel confirmed their existence. He found a solution known as the Gödel metric, describing a rotating universe with closed time-like curves. Since then, other solutions like the Tipler cylinder and traversable wormholes have emerged, challenging our intuitions about time and causality. Now let's talk implications. If CTCs exist, they hint at the tantalizing possibility of time travel. Imagine hopping onto a CTC and journeying into the future, only to end up in your own past. But beware, the infamous grandfather paradox looms. Could you accidentally prevent your own existence by meddling with the past? Russian physicist Igor Novikov proposed a way out with his self-consistency principle. This principle suggests that the universe somehow prevents events that would lead to inconsistencies. In other words, you can't change the past, you're just fulfilling your role in a preordained loop. Stephen Hawking introduced the chronology protection conjecture, speculating that a future theory of quantum gravity might forbid CTCs altogether, safeguarding the fabric of space-time from temporal chaos. Here's an intriguing twist, chronological censorship. If every CTC in a given space-time passes through an event horizon, like the boundary around a black hole, we might have chronological censorship. Even with CTCs, the space-time would remain causally well-behaved and observers might not detect any causal violations. Despite these insights, the true nature of CTCs remains mysterious. Are they mere mathematical curiosities or do they hide deeper secrets about the fabric of reality? Is there any experimental evidence for time travel yet? Let's delve into some fascinating experiments and theories that might just hold the answers. Hawking's Time Traveller Party in 2009, the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking hosted a unique party for time travellers at the University of Cambridge. He arranged balloons, champagne and nibbles, but here's the twist. He sent out the invitations only after the party had already taken place. Despite the enticing setup, no visitors arrived, leading Hawking to humorously regard this event as experimental evidence that time travel is not possible. But does this quirky experiment really close the book on time travel? Perhaps not. Time dilation experiments. Let's talk about something a bit more grounded, time dilation. Scientists have conducted numerous experiments demonstrating this key prediction of Einstein's theory of relativity. Imagine two synchronized clocks, one on Earth and the other aboard an airplane. After the airplane circled the globe, the clock on the plane showed a different elapsed time compared to the one on Earth. This phenomenon is due to the high speed of the airplane, proving that time can indeed be stretched, albeit in tiny amounts. Mathematical models and self-consistency. Researchers have also delved into the mathematical realm to explore paradox-free time travel. One fascinating idea is that the universe might self-correct to avoid inconsistencies even if backward time travel were feasible. This concept aligns with Igor Novikov's self-consistency principle we mentioned earlier. Are there any other proposed time machine designs? Let's take a quick look. Ron Mallet's laser-based concept. Professor Ron Mallet, inspired by H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, has built a tabletop device illustrating principles for a real time machine. His idea involves circulating laser beams to create a circulating beam of light, which theoretically could twist space-time and allow for time travel. While natural wormholes might exist in the cosmos, creating custom wormholes remains speculative. Scientists have theorized that we might one day engineer these shortcuts in space-time. However, the challenges include their distant locations and unpredictable destinations. Real astrophysicists like James Gott believe that intense speed, much faster than orbital travel, could unlock time travel. Albert Einstein's space-time model suggests that folding space-time could create shortcuts between distant points. So, while we haven't yet cracked the code for practical time travel, the journey of exploration continues. 
Each experiment and theory brings us one step closer to understanding the mysterious fabric of space-time. In our last segment, we explored the tantalizing concept of closed time-like curves, or CTCs. Now let's dive deeper into one of the most fascinating ideas in this realm, the Tipler Cylinder. Buckle up, because this concept takes us on a cosmic roller coaster ride through space-time. Discovery and Origins the Tipler cylinder was initially discovered as a solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity by Willem Jacob van Stockham in 1936 and Cornel Langsos in 1924. However, it wasn't until an analysis by Frank Tipler in 1974 that its connection to closed timelike curves CTCs, became apparent. The Tipler cylinder's design, imagine a sufficiently large rotating cylinder spinning around its axis in space-time. This rotation creates a fascinating effect called frame dragging. Essentially, the cylinder warps space-time, tilting the light cones of nearby objects. Part of the light cone then points backward along the time axis on a space-time diagram. Time travel potential. Here's where it gets mind-bending. A spacecraft accelerating in the right direction could travel backward through time along a closed time-like curve. CTCs are associated with causal anomalies like the infamous grandfather paradox going back and potentially altering your own past. Practicality and challenges Stephen Hawking raised an objection. According to general relativity, building a time machine in any finite region without negative energy seems impossible. Tipler's original solution involved an infinitely long cylinder, which is easier mathematically, but he speculated that a finite cylinder might work if it rotated fast enough. Hawking countered. To build a finite time machine, you need negative energy. The challenge lies in finding a way to create negative energy or exotic matter. Are there any other proposed time machine designs? Ron Mallet's laser-based concept Professor Ron Mallet, inspired by H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, has built a tabletop device illustrating principles for a real time machine. His idea involves circulating laser beams to create a circulating beam of light, which theoretically could twist space-time and allow for time travel. Bespoke wormholes. While natural wormholes might exist in the cosmos, creating custom wormholes remains speculative. Scientists have theorized that we might one day engineer these shortcuts in space-time. However, the challenges include their distant locations and unpredictable destinations. Intense speed as the key ingredient real astrophysicists like James Gott believe that intense speed, much faster than orbital travel, could unlock time travel. Albert Einstein's space-time model suggests that folding space-time could create shortcuts between distant points. So while the Tipler cylinder and other time machine designs remain theoretical, they continue to inspire our imaginations and push the boundaries of what we understand about the universe. Stay tuned for more fascinating explorations into the wonders of space-time.